lovely lovely good morning to you our dear listener it is a lovely saturday cold morning a happy new year to you and we promised you that we'll be back and here we are and i'm very delighted to be the host for today's first show or program of the year you are watching and listening to don bosco youth vibes a show that comes your way every saturday at exactly 10 hours on radio maria yet sunny voice thank you to you our dear youtube viewers for staying tuned and for continuing to watch our youtube content please don't forget to subscribe and share in the studios today i am joined by two priests now today's show is quite interesting as we have begun this month of january and it is a month of which we celebrate don bosco so we would like to then pick it up from here we would then want to find out who was don bosco and what is don bosco all about because we've heard of it some of us have just read don bosco but we don't even have the slightest idea of what don bosco is and we just hear that there's a legend priests but we don't know who you really are we would then like to get it from you father christopher please pick it up saint john bosco uh, common known as don Bosco. I think this is the name which is a quite um, uh, renowned, uh, Don Bosco. Uh, so his real name is John Bosco. And once he got ordained as a priest, as an Italian uh, tradition, uh, he became Don Bosco. Don simply means father, father Bosco. So Saint John Bosco um, was an Italian priest, a Dalcesian priest. Um, came from a very humble family in, um, in Turin, in a place called Becky, born from peasant parents, meaning that they were simply uh, simple farmers in that village of Becky, and through trouble and hard work, he managed to finish, uh, complete his school, and um, yeah, went to seminary, and got ordained, and got ordained, and as a priest, uh, he got attracted very much with um, uh, the poverty of young people, and uh, lack of education, uh, so he dedicated his life and he became um, a friend of uh, those boys and young men. Yeah. Briefly, to start with, that's um, Saint John Bosco. Yeah. Uh, Don Bosco uh, had fallen in love with the uh, spirituality of uh, Saint Francis of Sales. Uh, now, Sales is a, is a place in France, and so at the beginning when he started the congregation to work with and for the young people who are called Society of St. Francis of Sales. Don Bosco had liked uh, one, one aspect in the, in the man of uh, St. Francis of Sales, his philosophy of kindness. Mm -hmm. Don Bosco himself also started what we call in the education system and preventive system where he inserted this word also of kindness, mm -hmm. religion and then kindness. So he, he, he took up this spirituality of St. Francis de Sales to share with the young people, and especially the aspect of love and kindness. So uh, it was like he was moved by the spirituality of this man. He was moved by the, the person of this man that he just wanted to be like him. Though they never lived at the same time, uh, St. Francis of Sales had died a long time ago before St. John Bosco. But when, when he discovered the spirituality of St. Francis of Sales, he said, no, I'm going to, to take his spirituality and uh, you know, embrace it and live it with my young people. Uh, and especially the aspect of uh, loving kindness. So uh, that's why uh, even when the congregation was starting, it was named after St. Francis of Sales. And even after St. John Bosco was colonized, we still maintained that place where uh, uh, St. Francis of Sales lived cells where the name comes from uh, Salesians and then we became Salesians of Don Bosco. About missionaries and the mission, I, I then want to find out what is the mission of Don Bosco? Do you have a stipulated missions for the young people? So Salesians have just uh, uh, you know taken up what Don Bosco himself started in Italy and all over the world the Salesians are working with and for the young people especially the the marginalized. The, it's like they, they have taken the mantle of St. John Bosco, they have taken the pattern of St. John Bosco, and they are carrying on uh, the works which is started in Italy. Yeah, so he, he was so much in love with the spirituality of uh, St. Francis of Sales, the philosophy of loving kindness. Yeah. Every or each congregation, therefore, in the church uh, has um, a charism. 
The charism is a gift of the Holy Spirit that gives the founder a specific ministry that the Holy Spirit gives uh, the founders of congregation. So for Salesians, uh, the charism uh, of the Holy Spirit was shown to St. John Bosco. And they, that the charism is very easy. Um, it, it's, uh, it's based on the education and um, information of young people, especially the, the, the poor. Um, it, uh, it is based uh, on the on the motto called Damihi Hanimas Chetela Tolle, give me souls and take away the rest. So our focus is uh, on, on the youths. In, um, in 1988, uh, St. Pope uh, uh, John Paul II he gave uh, St. John Bosco to the church as teacher and, and friend of, of the youth. We know that um, many congregations work with young people, but Salesians are uh, specifically uh, called uh, through this charism uh, to focus on, on the young people, their education, their formation, especially uh, the, the, the most uh, poor in society. Our spirituality is evergreen. The society will never run out of young people. And I think responding to the signs of the times, uh, Don Bosco really wanted to capture the young people. Because in these times, young people, and especially that time of, uh, when Don Bosco lived and when he started working with and for the young people, uh, it was a time of uh, industrial revolution in, in Europe. And so many young people were being exploited. And so Don Bosco took it up uh, you know, to, to work with these young people, to train them and even to make them artisans. And actually started this congregation from the same uh, young people when he formed his own uh, congregation. And so, uh, when we, we talk about the spirituality of John Bosco, it's very unique and different from other congregations, as Father Chris has said, uh, concerning the charisma or the charisma of St. John Bosco. It is a, a spirituality that is permeated by that deep love for young people and for God. If I find myself my, a young person in the movie theater, I start my ministry there. So it is a spirituality that easily adapts itself, a spirituality that responds uh, to the needs of the young people. And so this is uh, uh, 21st century, and Salesians have a department that is responding to what is happening today. And you know, it is this, this kind of treatment of Salesians towards um, youths that basically it attracted uh, most of us, you know, to become um, Salesians. They have a special, um, this called, um, you know, approach, no? basically uh, coming from their spirituality of daily life. So they used to tell us that um, as, as young as youths there, you know, do your duties diligently. Don't do much, just do what is necessary, but do it very well, no? do it very well. Have simple prayers, what complicated, like what, what, no? But when you do, do it very well, you know? Like this, and uh, so it's interesting to, to note that uh, your life can bring us together like this, and, uh, you know, and we are there. We are Salesians and uh, beautiful work. <laughs> I enjoy it. I get father, father enjoys it as well. Uh, yeah, of course. It's interesting. The <laughs> 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 was saying, we must love what people and people love. You know, love what they, they love. You know, we, we joined in supporting all these teams of, of La Liga. Our, our goal is not to remain in that world, but rather that when we're in their world, all right, we propose, therefore, higher values. Because if they trust us that these people know what they love and they love what we love, therefore we have got uh, that ability, you know, to propose, therefore, higher values. Then there's trust. You know, somebody trusts me, I'll say, man, this is bad. You know? And out of trust, uh, young people will actually be attracted to higher values of life and they're remaining on that ground level. They'll go higher in, in those values. And basically, this is our mission. The Salesian system of education, which is uh, very vibrant, uh, the preventive system, which talks about uh, reason, religion, and loving kindness. Uh, that in each and everything that we are doing, we, we are trying to follow these three pillars of education. Uh, you know, when a young, peop a young person does something wrong, uh, you know, the easiest way is just to punish. <laughs> that is yeah. oppressive. That is repressive system. But for Don Bosco, he said, let's avoid the near occasion of sin or committing crime. And that's why we need to use this preventive system. And uh, it's a system that works everywhere. I remember 
uh, when I was working in Mansa Daosis, I even gave uh, something like a workshop to the teachers of our secondary school there on preventive system and they liked it very much. But you know, it's, it's not about beating a child to make the child to understand, but it is about reasoning with the child. Mm -hmm. Faith also comes in because it's a, a religion and also a kindness that I show love to the child and they, they begin to, uh, you know, to, to respond positively. Mm -hmm. uh, and when we talk about the challenges now, the, what the young people are going through, I think for us Salesians we are experts because uh, all our life we just study the life of young people. And so even when it comes to responding to the needs, to what they want, what to uh, our secondary, technical secondary school in Chingola, where uh, the school is fully equipped, everything is there. Now the school has a department for computers, the school has a department for cookery where they have brand new stores, uh, the school has multiplication and and so it's like we have touched all the areas. So if a young person has to advance uh, knowledge-wise, then you know they find themselves in this kind of environment. Then it helps them, you know, to mature fast uh, and, uh, and to grow into, uh, uh, you know, diligent and honest citizens of our country. And so we, we are we are we are not even you know afraid of what lies ahead because uh, we we try to to study. Uh, we we. We, we read books, uh, there's just so much, there's again uh, a youth department uh, in Rome uh, and this department is just dedicated to youth programs in the congregation at the world level. And so they publish books, they send articles and so, so that you know we, we move uh, with the young people. And uh, the rector major himself, uh, he is he, he a very jovial man. Uh, you, you, you could see him posing with young people, taking selfies, and so yeah, then you know that, uh, you know, as Salesians, we, we are just in tune with what the young people are going through now. Very Our tourism is that of presence. We want to be there where young people are found. It is a new world. It's a global, and we are missionaries. We are sent as missionaries to, so, to, to social media. We, we are sent. It's a world. You know, and, and this, and we want to be there. But see, our goal is not to remain with young people there. Our goal is to make them how to use social media, you know, from the aspect of how to use physical space out there. So first of all, let young people know how to use physical space out there, the real, the real world, so that they can enter in the in this virtual world uh, with, with the balance. So the trainer for for this year, 2023 stipulates as the East in today's human family. Therefore, the, the lay people uh, participate fully okay? and they want to change even the term. They're not only collaborators, you know, or, 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 or helpers. They are mission partners. This is the thing. They are just at, as, as us before the mission. The mission makes us equal. And this is what the theme is, quite a strong theme. Um, this one because it's making a, a serious a mental shift of how we at, uh, look at, at lay people, especially those who work very close with us. These are also Salesians, in other words, they participate in the same charism the Holy Spirit uh, uh, gave uh, to the church and they are indispensable to the mission. Uh, and they are not giving us a favor or like uh, helping us because we are few, they say it, no, they are part and parcel of the mission, they are mission partners. This is what the theme is said to say, as the yeast in today's human family. Young people are supposed to be accompanied everywhere. Uh, you know the problem is, uh, there, there's a bit of, uh, uh, what I can say, imbalance. Because a young person will come to the youth center, and the Salesian will go flat out and meet that young person and chat and help that young person. When the young person goes back home, it's totally different. It, there's no accompaniment, you know. Uh, I would want to have a situation where uh, parents are also involved in, in, you know, in grooming their children. Parents are involved in sitting down their children, you know, talking to them and praying together so that the life becomes, you know, balanced. They, they are at home. It's like, you know, they are celebrating life at home. They come to the youth center, they meet the Salesians, they continue celebrating life. So that accompaniment is 
uh, is somehow lacking. That's why we are having the, the suicidal cases, and that's why we are having many isms in the society today the consumerism, the secularism, internism. All these isms are coming because uh, we, we lack accompaniment, uh, especially on the side of the young people. Uh, to end, I just want to wish um, those listeners, especially young people, if you're listening, and I would like to end with an expression of the Bosco, you know, um, who was telling his young boys that um, for you I study, for you I work, for you I live, for you I'm ready even to give up my, my life. Very interesting there. Now there you have it, my dear listener. This is where we come to the conclusion of today's program. I was privileged to have a chat with Father Nebret Lisa and Father Christopher, who are both Salesians of Don Bosco. Now when you say it's John Bosco, I was almost correcting I'm like, no, 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 it's not John Bosco, it's Don Bosco. Then I remembered that that's actually his name because we are used to Don Bosco. I have been your host, Princess Chivesa Cecilia Mungulove. Thank you for staying tuned. Till next week, we'll be having the Salesian sisters on the table, still dining with the Salesian family. I hope that you have learned one or two things and enjoyed yourself. Please stay tuned to our YouTube channel and continue listening to the voice of Christ in your home. Good morning.